Hey people, so I wanted to do another game where I win Civ 3 on Sid difficulty, and I figured that this will be that game. Sid, uh, 4000 BC, so I found a map that I like, and I looked around, and I think it's winnable, and we're going to be playing as the Indians. So when I did my tier list of the Civs, I rated India uh, as like the top of the top tier, not the absolute top, but pretty high up there, and I want to prove that in this game, because I've already done videos as the Celts and the Iroquois, so let's show why India is so good. I'm going to go start out with a mine, and we're going to walk over here so we can get the plant on the river and have instant access to the floodplain wheat if we need it. Uh, we're going to use the cow first just so we don't run into disease, even though we get the... Like, there's no commerce on this tile, but there is commerce on that tile, but we don't want the disease, so just in case. And we're going to go for writing at a, a low rate, I think. That'll help us save money. Great, so set this to 20%. We got this warrior out, and now we can scout around and try to find some civs, maybe trade a bit. Uh, so I did, when I generated this map, I was generating maps with bad civs for me to be playing against. Uh, so I think I chose civs that generally don't start with alphabet, so I can trade away alphabet. I think I might have also chosen some seafaring civs because they're bad on Pangaea maps, which this is. Uh, it's like 80% water Pangaea, standard size. Uh, so if they are seafaring, they did, then they do start with alphabet. So I guess we'll see who's nearby. <laughs> and we're going to go straight for a settler now. Now, I wonder if we did this. Would, if we like rotated between the wheat and the, the spices, would that prevent disease? Because I like I, I played like ten turns in the start and I instantly got hit disease as soon as I hit size two. So I was like, I gotta avoid the, the, that this time. Uh, and of course, we gotta use the luxury slider, keep our population from revolting. And so we're gonna try the back and forth here. Uh, yeah, like I said, I I looked around and made sure that this map looked winnable. And I think we want to expand in this direction to secure more floodplains. Uh, so we're going to road onto the spices. That will give extra commerce too, which is handy. I think we have all the food we need here, and we can't mine the, uh, uh, the wheat. So here's light blue and brown too. Okay. Uh, the governor actually reset the the tile assignments for me because the city's borders expanded. Um, okay, well, they start with alphabet. Oh, they already have almost everything. Fucking hell. I hope they didn't trade away alphabet. Here we are. Okay. Alphabet. Oh, thank God. So I can get some form of military tech, which is going to be very useful here. Uh, not immediately. Like, at the start, you want to focus hard on settlers, just so you don't fall behind too far in growth. But eventually, we're going to need something to defend our units. And since we're going for writing, that's not going to get that for us. Uh, so if we can get two techs, that'd be ideal. No, nah, but 30 gold, that's pretty substantial. So if I can get part of that... Nice. Okay, that's something to work with. Oh, unless... Yeah, there's no way Spain doesn't have those three techs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that would have been insane. <laughs> okay. So th if I remember correctly, this was one of the few good city spots nearby... Uh, I'm going to want a few along the floodplains, but to like guarantee I have more land accessible, I think the next one should be actually on the sugar. Uh, there's a sugar down here, or is that one? No, it's it's sugar. Uh, so I could do one here or here, and I think this is the better bet, because uh, this one might culture flip. This would 
ensure all the sugars, but I'd rather just have the one and the 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 floodplain's good too. Nice. So yeah. Ooh. Didn't mean to let go there, but it's going in the right direction, so that's what matters. <laughs> Uh, let's do some min-maxing. Oops, we're not doing writing anymore. Nice, we got spices here. Uh, so yeah, we. I was thinking... We want another city that can use one of these wheats. I don't think we need two wheats in Delhi. That's a bit overkill. <laughs> Jesus. This is a ridiculous map, by the way. It's just like the entire map is mountains and desert, which I absolutely love. Although it would be nice if I was agricultural to be really able to uh, exploit that desert. But now we're going with India. We're going with India. So we got a city here. Oh, if we did one here, that would guarantee this tile for us. Because uh, if Seville's borders expand, at which they're going to, like, we're not going to have more culture in this city than the Spanish have. Then they'll take this tile, and we will not have access to it. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, but if we do that, then we don't get this tile ever, unless we plant someone, like, here or something. I mean, that's doable. <laughs> we're we're going to want to plant, plant these cities tight. Yeah, that might actually make a lot of sense. Okay, so here, here, here. Uh, here and here. Yeah, that's a lot of cities, but I think it's it's good. And generally, you want your cities to be on top of each other. That way, like you can secure the territory first, and then you can uh, fill in the gaps. Uh, so where should we actually be roading here? We could road west... Yeah, well, yeah, let's get the commerce on the, the wheat, I guess. Or no, let's... It's just such a pain to go towards the mountains. Well, where did we say we wanted the city? We want one here? Okay, yeah, here and here. So we'll road towards the city. Feels kind of ridiculous, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Sid for you. Not even turn 20, it's turn 17. They have the clauses. <laughs> oh, my units are moving fast. I wonder if I have any weird settings turned on. Uh... Yeah, this looks standard. Uh, so this one's going this way. Oh, nice. We found someone else. That's good. Ah, they've got alphabet. Okay. Uh, we'll kill... Yeah, it seems to be moving the units faster than I'm used to. Normally... I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess that makes our city placement decision a lot easier. We can't put it here. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, normally if you... Yeah, that's weird. Uh, normally if you drag and drop, it should work. Uh, what setting could I possibly have turned on that would mess with that? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. I'll just use numpad moves then. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck. They're already fighting. Wow. Okay, well. So we wanted another city here. Yeah, that should work. A 
holy shit, I got so lucky that this game that they're actually fighting. And here's the ivory, so we need to work hard to secure that. I think once we get a second one up here, then the ivory is the, the next spot. And can we talk to... Yes, we can talk to America. And they don't have Alphabet. Uh, they don't have anything else that anybody doesn't have, but we'll take what we can get, you know. Uh, okay, they'll only give us one tech, it looks like. So we'll just get Masonry since it's the most expensive tech. Don't think I was planning on building any archers, so this should work. Great, and we'll do the, the swap back and forth here. Uh, they're fighting each other, right? <laughs> okay. <coughs> wow, just more mountains which limits my vision, so I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, just to avoid the risk of disease, let's do that. Uh, so let's just Spain again. It looks like Spain is going to find America. Uh, you start with masonry, I think. They're not industrious, but yeah, I think the Incans are weird because they spawn... Like, their trades both correspond with pottery, so the game just says, oh, we'll give you masonry as a second tech. Uh, I, I would buy a worker, I think. That's pretty expensive. Hmm. No, I need the gold. So uh, to win on Sid this time, I'm going to use... Uh, so you might notice that I'm actually using default game settings here. So uh, last time I won on Sid, I used some weird stuff like uh, accelerated production and cultural conversions turned off. And it was a tiny map. I, I count that as not being weird, but the other two were definitely weird. Here it's standard game settings. Uh, so to win, I'm going to have to do some other funky stuff, and that's going to... Okay, I thought I lost my work for a second. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some other funny stuff. And so what that's going to involve is having a lot of gold as capital. And I'll show you what that uh, will accomplish in a bit. Okay, I think I only need the one scouting warrior. That can safely contact everybody or almost everybody on the map. Yeah, it looks like they, they're, yeah, they're definitely fighting each other. That is so fantastic. It means they're not going to be fighting me. <laughs> so we have happiness, and I don't think they're going to, in Delhi, and I don't think they're going to be attacking us there. So we'll use the, uh, this warrior over here. We'll have him swing around and go defend this new city. And then Bombay has, uh, a warrior coming soon. I know that's the absolute bare minimum, but yeah, as long as they can't walk into the city, that's I'll, I'll call that a win. Uh, so Spain's up here too. We'll go towards the center of the map. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> okay folks this is not it's not gonna get any better than this um the spanish got the pyramids and they're also losing cities to the russians i mean those two things might be connected so that means is we're gonna march the city towards that floodplain wheat and take it for ourselves oh nice okay that's england they got everything and that looks like portugal so they probably have everything too but Floodplain wheat, that's what we, we got our eyes on the prize. Okay, uh, we'll grab another settler in Bombay. Uh, 
Uh, should we go for the city on the hill or... Yeah, let's go around the hill, I guess. Extra defense bonus. And in that spot, we might actually need it. Oh, crap. We're not taking writing. <laughs> That's what we need to be doing. <laughs> okay. Huh. Uh, okay. Well, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, this is a little... Yeah, I guess if we planted here, it wouldn't be any better. Um, this is a little close to the Spanish in terms of culture flipping, so I'd be worried about that. Uh, but it's not close in terms of... Uh, like, military, it's very safe because it's on the hill, I think. So have I met everyone yet? Uh, everyone, like, but except one. Uh, let's see, the Americans, did you... Up to anything? Nope. Oh, no, the Spanish actually went down here, so they already did contact the Americans, almost certainly. I mean, at least with the Spanish busy, then they're not going to plant these ivory anytime soon. And, yeah, the Americans don't have writing, so they can't get map making to go plant there. Uh, we could do here. If I did here, I'd be too worried about a culture flipping. Uh, we could do here too, but then I'd be worried about someone else planting this. You know what? We'll do here. And we're. I think that might be all the ivory on the map. I'm not sure. Because uh, I didn't scout the entire map when I first like checked out this map. I just scouted like a 360 degree around the starting cap, uh, starting location. So we'll have to see. Oh, they actually got out of the way. Uh, the Russians. Ooh, let's go for a quick worker into a temple. And I think we can slave the temple. Should probably explore south at some point. I can't remember exactly what was there. Yeah, the next warrior out of Delhi will do that. Okay, Bombay, you can switch to that. It's more balanced. Ooh, do the borders expand here? Oh, no, I don't think so. But we'll keep an eye open for when they do. Oh, we actually want a city there, so uh, no road there. Yeah, it's funny how they declare war on each other, but then this guy with absolutely nothing guarding most of his cities yeah we'll just leave him be <laughs> aggressively settling towards them yeah no problem there <laughs> that's gandhi for you just a mean human being okay uh So yeah, I think we're going to secure the the ivory now. Must be great to be the Incans on this map. Like your shitty unique unit is finally good for something. Okay, let's see if we can get through Portugal. Oh, wait, Temple, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to it auto-defaulting to Temple, but I had uh, queued it up there, so that's why I did that. Okay, we can get to England, it looks like. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad we got here when we did. Looks like we're going to be one tile ahead of the fucking Spanish. It's weird because, like, there is at least one good city spot over there. Okay, how do we do this, actually? Because uh, if we go here, he'll go south. If we go here, he'll go there. We don't want him taking the ivory. Hmm. Ah, they kicked me out in the wrong direction. That's a pain. I was worried about this one culture flipping, but I think if we can get that, then that's ideal. Just because Spain is being an issue faster than we thought. Hmm. Question is, if we plant here or here, what's he going to do with his settler? Is he going to walk down and plant the rest? Because uh, if he does, all he needs to do is build a harbor in his two cities, and then he has the, the ivory hooked. But if we try to risk it, like if we go here and he goes here, will he plant? I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll go here. Come on, Volcano. Oof. Okay, I think he might not plant here, or here at least, because it's too close to America. I probably shouldn't be planting so close to America anyway, so we'll do here. And we'll see what his response is. If we're lucky, he'll go down here or something, which is like, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, we're losing the shield to corruption, so we might as well use the, the food. Yes, <laughs> we're definitely giving you that. <laughs> Please like me. Oh, nice, he's going this way. Uh, I was worried he'd go here. As long as he doesn't get the ivory, I don't care if I have all four in my borders. Ah, crap. I grew too early. That's fine, though. Ooh, I actually want the this guy. Ah, crap. The Russians are really close. You know what? I'll do one here and here. That's that's fine. I, like, I get the deers, and that's... I wasn't going to get the furs anyway, I don't think, so... Yes, I will definitely give you that money. <laughs> they aren't unfair with... Um, sorry, I'll, I'll take that back. They're unfair in some sense sometimes with how they ask for stuff. So sometimes they'll ask for like ridiculous tax. Uh, and sometimes like they won't even be much stronger than you and they'll still ask for stuff and then they'll declare war if you don't give it to them. So they're unreasonable in that sense. But if you give them what they want, they'll usually back off for a while. They're not just going to keep on exploiting you. They're not like Nigerian princes scammers on the internet, you know? <laughs> They have a they're like more like the mob, you know, you pay your protection money and then you're good for a little while. Okay, I'm glad it didn't erupt on this. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Uh I should have gone straight for a settler here, I guess. We'll see what he does with that. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna plant anywhere too close to me. I think I'm gonna lose one of these cities. Uh, which would have been nice because they could use these tiles, the floodplains, but it doesn't actually cost me any good tiles. So I'm not too cut up about this. Okay, I actually don't want the city to grow because then, oh, it actually won't run into unhappiness issues. Interesting. Um, just because it has double military police.
Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, that is a real pain in the ass. So you have to put it off the floodplain for one turn. Otherwise, you get hit by disease immediately again. Mm, nice. I got the double shields there. Actually, let's just yeah, let's take the double shields. We're at seven. We just need to do it for one turn then. Yeah, that is perfect spot for that Spanish city. I'm very happy with that. I wasn't even... Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're going for a spearman. Or no, a temple. Yeah, that'll secure some land for ourselves. So we only need 10 shields to, to slave. So we'll do like that. Great, and slave. I don't know where that Russian spearman is going. <laughs> uh, maybe to the oasis? I wasn't planning on getting that oasis, so if he wants to do that, that's fine by me. Dope. I think this is just going to be our worker city. Uh, did I not get a spearman? Did I lose that spearman to disease or something? What? Oh, I got the temple. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, this is all fine. Yeah, they're not going to plant here because it's two tiles away from my city. That's like the one thing they definitively do not do. Code of honor, you know? Okay, I think at this point we need to take that city just to. Or we could do this one. Yeah, they could plant one here, which would not actually be that problematic. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, uh, we'll get this one then. We'll do it on the desert tile just so it's two away from the... Oh, we could actually use two floodplains if we're here, though. Hmm. That could be a solid city. Yeah, okay, we, if we have to rebuild it, we have to rebuild it. That's fine. Actually, you know what? I think there might have been, like, a, another sieve on an island. Like, America's on an island. There might be a second sieve on the island, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so we'll see if we can find someone else. Okay, here's writing. Oh, th that culture is actually nice to see. I'm, I'm normally... Oh, we actually beat them to that tile, huh? Yeah, unless they get a library, which they probably will. But until they get a library, we have control over that tile, which is great. So let's mess around and call up our buddies. He has writing. She has writing. He also has writing. And code of law, okay. Uh, yeah, it must have been the philosophy free tech. Yeah, this is Sid for you. Everybody has writing. America doesn't have writing. Oh my god. Breathe, suede. You got this. This is your game. <sighs> Sid is really hard. <laughs> Please tell me this is recorded. Okay. <laughs> Iron working. Yeah, or we could. Yeah, we want the gold. Is top. I actually don't know where the iron is. I might as well see where the iron is. That could be useful. Uh, yeah. Like when I did the my look at the map, I like I looked for horses because that's part of my strat. I didn't look for iron. Uh, it's fine whether or not we have iron because we're doing going to be doing a strategy where we can't export resources. Uh, but it provides bonus production. It could be useful in the late game. Could be useful uh, at feudalism, to be honest, so we can have pikemen and defend ourselves. It's just good, a good thing to know in general. So, do we want to go for ironworking, or do we want the gold?
Yeah, I'm kind of just curious. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just do iron working in 18 gold, I guess. That's fine. Okay, where's the iron? Come on. Okay, I do not have iron. <laughs> uh, this is two tiles away from Russia. That would get culture flipped if I planted it. <laughs> That's not happening. Could I take that city? I wonder if they'd plant that uh, or if they're going to fill in that gap or not. That's weird. Okay, so we do not have iron. We know where it is, though. That could be kind of handy. Oh, we should be teching something useful. Uh, oh, let's go for literature. They never go for literature. Guess we're doing it at 20%. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, how are we going to get this warrior home? <laughs> oh, they're strand he's out there stranded on his lonesome. That's okay, buddy. I got you. We'll think of something. Suede always thinks of something. I think I'll pay this guy off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if he's on an island, I, I can't do shit, you know, like, because he could just recruit a bunch of people into the war uh, with military alliances. Oh, if I'm lucky, when they fill in this gap, maybe it will teleport me on to wherever that last sieve is. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I can't do it. This would culture flip. It's too near the Russian cities. It's too far from my capital. I don't know where the Russian capital is, but it's probably near it. Uh, if I did it here, then I need more culture than whatever this city is. So it would have to be here or here if I wanted the iron. And I don't need iron that badly. Okay, this is going to be my worker city because it's using the floodplains pretty much permanently. And you can't starve below zero. So I'm just actually going to hang out here until the borders expand and kick me out. Let's, let's explore this direction while we still have the chance, you know? Oh, that's good commerce for us. I'm liking that. I will grab another warrior. These are just handy to have. And we'll go for the mine on the hill over there, I think. Mm, well, let's get a road here, because we'd have to like cross here, and then cross here, and then there. So we might as well get like a three-way road going from the city that will eventually be right there. Yeah, you can just hang out. Can we? Oh, yeah, we can actually speed this up. And literature is like the one tech where I think I might be able to beat them to it. Uh, that incur or currency, but we don't have math, so no currency for us. <laughs> Ooh, that's handy. Yeah, this is where the, the furs were, if I'm not mistaken. It's no chance of us getting that. Uh, we do have sh two shields per turn in Calcutta, though. That's cool. And we do need both of them. Great. We actually want to avoid growth here, because if we're growing, that, that then that forces us to use the floodplain tiles, and the floodplain tiles gives us disease. So, 
Yeah, that's not as nice. Yeah, there's the furs. Okay, we're going one here. That's pretty close to the capital, which I don't like because it pushes back the other cities in terms of corruption, but I think we have to. And then one here, here. And here, if we can get it. That's like a nice, tidy little sieve. And when we clean up, we can eventually plant one here and hopefully get the whales. I'm not sure if that's within range of the Americans, but that's the dream. Nice. This will help us road the ivory. And sh when we finish the expansion phase, should we just go straight for... Oh, we need math for... Uh, fuck. Uh, Statue of Zeus. No, sorry. <laughs> They're still fighting each other, it looks like. That's good for us. Ah, my mouse is having problems. That's what the issues have been. It's a bit better now, it seems. Oh, glad I caught this. Don't want the city to culture flip. That would be a disaster. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a while before we can irrigate there. I guess we're, we'll go for a Kura and start to explore a little. Okay, this city's going here. This one's going here. Uh, I guess this one's just going south then. Yeah. Okay, I feel content with the knowledge we've discovered there. I'm happy with what we know. Let's focus on defending our cities. Okay, I don't think food is the priority. I think the commerce is a little better in this case. I don't often say that, but yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Spanish archer. I guess he wants to make himself useful for the the war against the Incans. I think they're fighting. Oh, there's another one here too. Uh, uh, is the city happy? Oh yeah, we're good. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I saw the domestic advisor pop up, uh, and say the Spanish. So I was a little worried. It's not great that they have Temple of Artemis unless we take it from them. I think they're one of the weaker sieves. We can check that. Okay, Portugal is scary. But Portugal's over there. Portugal is not our problem. And at least they're not all in the Middle Ages just yet. <laughs> When that happens, we start to get a little worried. <laughs> so what are we doing? Uh, so I guess we could do one here and then one here if we really wanted to. Yeah, that wouldn't be so bad because we could use the, the one floodplains. And then once we get to steam power, it's a long way away. But then we could railroad the desert and then actually have like a food surplus there. Uh, growing up big enough to grow us indefinitely. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do this part of the, the journey at some point, so we might as well do it sooner rather than later. Uh, roading this one actually give us any extra commerce, so I'm wondering if we actually want to do that. Oh. 
we lost our second shield because we planted more cities closer to a capital, so Madras becomes more corrupt. So I've said this in my videos before, there's no penalty to closing, planting, planting cities far away from your capital, but if you plant them close to your capital, then it makes the ones that are further away from your capital more corrupt. I guess we'll go for this. Bombay needs to be a pretty good city. At least this Calcutta still has the second shield, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Yes! <laughs> You better believe you're getting that money, dude. <laughs> that is the me staying alive tax. <laughs> okay, there it is. We're finally going to get this city out. Oh, that's a key one. That's a beautiful one. So yeah, okay, we're getting a lot of workers out here, so we're going to be able to irrigate towards Bangalore and make it actually able to grow. So the way it works is that planes only give one food, and each citizen eats one food per turn. So when citizens are working planes, they're like net loss of food for your city. So you get two to start with, two food, just in the city center. You don't, no citizens need to work that tile. So we have three food, because the citizen is working the ivory, and so that gives us the third food. When we grow, the citizen will be assigned to the ivory or something like that. And then that will give another one food. So four food coming in, and then two citizens each eating two food per turn. So that's four food. So the city won't grow past size two. Unless we irrigate these tiles, or if we build a harbor, then that would give us two, uh, two food from the, the coast tiles. The city's high production. Let's go for a spearman. I'm feeling very, uh, not frisky. What's the word? Frivolous. I don't know. <laughs> you know what this will do, though? This will hook the spices. Beautiful. I can actually do this. Yeah. Uh, we'll get these roads sorted out first. I think that's top priority. Uh, so we could go for that city there. I'm just a little worried about a culture flipping. We'd have to go straight for a temple, but you know, we can go straight for a temple. I'm feeling it. Should we go for a barracks in Bombay? Yeah, let's do a barracks in Bombay. Okay, I'm going to save this up. So India, it's happening one. Okay. <laughs> Just in case my computer crashes or something dumb like that. I have auto saves. Although I have done it before that I like I'm playing a game of Civ 3 and then I forget to uh to save before I leave and then I start playing another game so it erases the old auto saves and I lose the progress I was made on making on the series that I'm doing. <laughs> That's brutal when that happens. Yeah, I'm not getting math anytime super soon, I don't think. This isn't going to flip because uh, it's two tiles away from my capital. Uh, and these two cities both have culture. So yeah, I'm fine with that temple being there in Valencia. And we have these ivory. We got it, actually. That's that's so nice. Uh, yeah, we'll go for one more settler out of Delhi. And then I think we should start pre-building the, the wonder. Oh yeah, this is a thing. This city's here, right? Okay. Uh, I think the actual actually the safest thing to do is to plant the city on the hill. That would give us a military defense bonus. And then I don't think the Inklings are going to flip us because they're so far away. Uh, yeah, let's go for a barracks here. We need to start transitioning into military. Oh, 
Come on, let's get that sweet, sweet bonus shield. And Karachi. Yeah, we'll do a worker in Karachi. We're going to need a lot of workers for this land. It's a little weak militarily, though. I'll, I'll try it. Uh, can I... He can just drop units over the river and fuck me. And we just have that Spanish unit. Oh my god, this is a little dicey, but... It's teleported one tile. Okay, he's in the next era. Uh, that's worth knowing. Yeah, and we'll just slave a, a temple after 10 turns there. We might even be able to get this tile from the Incans. <laughs> and culture flip it, actually, eventually. Oh, uh, there's, so on Sid... Uh, so on any difficulty, there's something called global culture, which is the entire culture of your civilization versus the culture of an enemy civilization. That's like in the cultural advisor, you know how he says, like, or she says, they're disdainful of our culture. That's what it's the ra the ratio of global culture. Uh, so that affects the odd of, odds of culture flipping. So even if the city has a lot of culture and this one doesn't and this one does, because the Incans overall have a lot of culture, it's not likely that I'm going to take their cities. Uh, but on paper, everything else about this situation makes it so that this city is very likely to flip because it's very near my capital, very far from the Incan capital. I'm going to have culture here and here. Uh, he's going to not have access to very many of his tiles within his big fat cross. Lots of factors. Okay, I need to start doing some trades uh, for like luxuries and resources and shit. We'll see when I can do that. Okay, great. Um, I guess the city's next. <laughs> I could do it on this. I don't want to waste. Like, that'd be on the lake, but I don't want to waste the the forest and potentially the grassland. It could be bonus grassland underneath because I don't have many grassland tiles to work with. So I'll go with this. Just so we have one city that can use this tile. Okay, let's start on... Oh, I actually can't pre-build anything. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to do a military unit then. Is a Kura frivolous? I think a Kura is frivolous here. I, I have tr contact with most of the civs. I'm not going to do it. Okay, that's an archer. <laughs> uh, that's just the one archer. I thought he was going to head two there and take me out. He could still take me out. We'll see. Uh, does he have liter? Does she have literature? No, doesn't even have philosophy. I could make some plays here. Nice, we got ivory now. Uh, if yeah, I'm not using the happiness slider. This this game's been good for not having to use the happiness slider. Uh, let's mine a hill to help out Calcutta. Just because if we like, if we irrigate this, um, so it takes four turns, four workers' turns to do that. Uh, rounded, rounded up. So two workers will take two turns. Three workers will take two turns. So there's no point sending a third worker to do that job. So we could route with, with this, but I'd rather mine so we can make Calcutta more productive. Great. Uh, do I need another? I guess I don't really have any other cities building settlers. So yeah, I do. <laughs> I do need uh, to build another settler. Because we want one somewhere here. Here, actually. Yeah, right here. That's what we decided on. Sure. Uh, 
Emily. Oh, they're fighting the Incans. Oh, the Spanish are fighting the Incans. That's great. As long as they're fighting anyone but fucking me. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel a little bit more secure there. Uh, we got lots of happiness, so let's just slave. Great. Are we serious? Oh, okay. That's. I was wondering why we had such low production. <laughs> okay, let's road to the Spanish. Uh, I guess we'll do another worker and or warrior and then switch. Kick me out. Come on. <laughs> nice. Okay, we can see the... Oh, wow. They're close. That's a lot of cows. Good thing they're weak. That would have been problematic. <laughs> that is not a better start than my start, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it would be good if we can get that from them. Because that's the thing, because on maps like this, there's so little um, good land where those kind of resources can spawn. And the game is like a fixed number of high food or, like, or bonus resources that it has to spawn. So it's like, oh, I guess we have like this five tiles of grassland on the entire map. I guess all the cows go right here. <laughs> so that's handy in that sense. Jesus, oh, this is biting away at my capital. And I'll, I'll show you why we need this. It's really important. Literature in six, though. Yay. <laughs> okay, uh, this one's a barracks. This isn't going to flip. It's two tiles away from my capital. It's pretty safe to assume it won't flip. Uh, we do not need... Oh, that's good. Uh, the wonder thing. Like, everybody was building a bunch of wonders, and then all of them got built. So nobody's going to be able to switch to the Great Library. Uh, yeah, I'll go here. Now we can do the, the Kurak, maybe. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit more secure. Oh, Barracks in 7 and Literature in 5. So hopefully we can trade Literature for Mathematics. Yeah, since you know I don't like temples, I only build them t so my cities don't culture flip in this position. So these two cities, because they're so close to my capital, they're not going to culture flip, so I'm not going to build any temples in them. Ah, I went the wrong direction. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, Madrid just fell to the Incans. That could be very good. It could be very bad. Uh, I need to capitalize as soon as possible by planting a city here or so. Maybe here? Yeah, it's far enough away from the Russians. You use that, you use that. Still doesn't work? Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know that. <laughs> you, yeah, go back to using that. Uh, 
Oh, they went for a harbor and not a temple. That's great for me. Yeah, that's unsurprising. That is scary. Kind of terrifying. That's cool. It's, we, signed, we, we signed up for this. We're playing on Sid. Oh, so many workers to take. <laughs> We're not going to take them. Don't worry. Okay, we've invested a lot of gold into literature. I hope this pays off. Yeah, that's got to take the city. They have a freaking great leader, too. <laughs> oh, I'm in their land. <laughs> oh, there's a Spanish city there. Eh, it's not surprising, I guess. Wow, I just cannot get any fucking food if I try. <laughs> and at least we can get some of this gold back. Yeah, a little. Okay, time to make some big plays, TM. Ah, fuck. He has the temple, too. Okay, I guess... Where is... Oh, this is Spain. Is that... No, that's not their capital. Interesting. Hmm. Where's their last city, then? Uh, let's talk to Spain. Well, they don't have literature. As long as I can get mathematics from some... Yeah, okay. I need mathematics and the wheel. So let's make some deals. So the Incans do not have literature. They have everything else, but they have furs, crucially. Okay. So we're going to make a play with that. Uh, well, yeah, we'll start on Great Library or whatever. It's going to be Statue of Zeus. Oh, America's missing a lot. They're missing all the writing stuff. So they'll be the last guys we trade with. Spain is, hmm, okay, they got everything, at least all the first level techs. Uh, Russia has everything, but not literature. Even Portugal doesn't have literature, it seems. Yeah, oh, I want their gold. So let's just trade up front for... Uh, we'll come back to him. I guess we'll do, we'll start with Russia then. Okay. That will segue us into some stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. I was going to check something with Spain. Uh, and that's, oh, they have construction. Incredible. Can't get it from them, but they have it. <laughs> oh, and, oh, that actually is their capital in Valencia. Uh, oh, yeah, the star's over here, so I can't see it. Okay. Uh, Okay, does everybody have currency, or is somebody missing currency? Uh, these four civs are in the next era, so they have currency. Uh, I don't have contact with one, and then there's America and Spain. Uh, Spain is actually not in the next era. What are they missing? They're missing currency. Oh, okay. So it looks like I'll have to do this now. Fuck, this is going to fuck me a little. Uh, but, Okay. So here comes the exploit part. 
we maximize our GPT. Wow, there's a lot of commerce from these cities generally. So I'll show you how this mag magical exploit works. We want to maximize the gold per turn we can offer to the Incans. So now what we do is we offer them gold per turn in exchange for furs. So 39, because he'll only give us, he'll only accept as much gold per turn as we have available down here. He won't accept any deficit spending. Uh, like you can offer it to him and he'll accept the deal physically, but it won't give you any credit towards getting more shit from him. And we have literature that we can do. So on top of this, can we get construction? Holy shit, we can get construction. Uh, oh, we're not getting that gold back if we do this. <laughs> okay, I guess we want currency. Uh, we can get construction from the Spanish. Hmm. Oh, he won't even give us pottery. Okay, this gets us pottery. Pottery doesn't lead... Oh, it leads to map making. I guess we need it then. Okay. And maybe Spain doesn't have map, map making if we're lucky. So, notice that he's providing me furs. I'm not providing him any resource. So, if he was able to... If he was no longer able to provide me furs for whatever reason, then the deal would be cancelled. I wouldn't owe him this 39 gold per turn anymore, and the AIs would think that it's his fault because he promised to give me furs, and he reneged on that promise because he can no promise because he can no longer fulfill it. So, if for example, he was no longer able to provide me furs because I pillaged all the roads around my capital, please, mouse, don't fail me now. <laughs> Okay, my mouse just failed, <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to. <laughs> yes, if I pillaged all the roads around my capital, I'm thinking now this is the wrong city to build a wonder in, but okay. Then the deal is canceled, but he doesn't hate me. He's a known liar and a cheat because he said he'd provide me furs, and now he can't provide me furs. But notice how I don't actually owe him the gold per turn anymore. Fantastic. So that's the exploit, and that's what we're going to be using to make fucking bank this game. So uh, we'll continue on those deals with the, the Spanish. Oh, we need more wor workers than this. Ah, crap. Uh, looks like that's the only way. Oh, America doesn't have currency or map making. Uh, so I can get a lot of stuff from them. Uh, I'll double check with America. Because if they have, maybe they have code of law. Oh, they, yeah, they have almost nothing. In fact, yeah, let's do it like this up front. Oh, they don't even have mathematics. Fuck. I bet they probably have horseback riding, though. Uh, I don't want to devalue this text to the Spanish. Yeah, we'll take the 34 gold. This is capital to make those crazy exploit deals. And America? Uh, we don't give them literature because we don't. We, we still want to get gold off the Portuguese and maybe text too. Oh, he actually has polytheism. Huh. Sweet. It's free poly. Uh, does Spain have polytheism? Yeah, they have polytheism. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, 
Uh, that's yeah, that's cheap enough. Like I, I need to get to the next year to get my war elephants, so we'll do that. And then the Incans are the Portuguese. That's sweet, sweet gold. Lump sum. I don't even care about horseback riding. We'll get that later. Sweet, sweet gum. Gold. Huh, yeah, give me gold per turn, too. So uh, we'll double check, make sure we don't have anything else to offer anyone. Great. Oh, oh, he has monarchy. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, no. <laughs> Not an option, I guess. Okay, so we'll save up. Uh, what do we say? Ooh. Holy shit, I can actually win? It was something like that. Wow. Actually, on Sid 1. Good.